Last time on Hogwarts Legacy. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Well, if Serona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. Should earn Ranrock's trust, I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. Hello guys, it's me, Jigab Knight, and we are continuing our adventure in Hogwarts Legacy. So previously, we helped our so-called goblin friend, Logog. Hopefully he doesn't betray us, but we we're able to retrieve the ancient relic of the goblins, the helmet of the Untar. With that, Logog is our spy among Ranrock's goblin regime. But now we're going to be doing the other two chores that we have today. So we're going to do Beast class and the Caretaker Lunar Lamin. So those are the two things we got to do today. So previously, I couldn't do the other two things because it was much longer than I expected. Like Logog's request was like, go into a dungeon. Go into another dungeon, more like go into a really dangerous dungeon and go find the Untar helmet for me. So we did that and we're able to uh, gain his trust and then have him Welcome be under. Everyone. Oh, I up. see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way. Dangerous. Is that a dodo bird? Especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howland. Hello, hmm. I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howland's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. All right. Um, you are you going to have a Gerald. pet? Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> hmm. What are we doing? You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like oh, is this some kind of spell? It might be a spell experience. that we do. Really weird. Oh, <laughs> what's the point? Of, we're so just do, using That's magic. Lovely. Weird. I, I thought we we're gonna be doing it like think he might be have a physical Would brush, you mind I guess. Some beast feed? Okay. This is starting to get weirder because. I thought we'd just be able to like summon them and they help us out. What do out. you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. Probably. Think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. His name is Gerald? He seems very nice. Yeah. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. What kind of creature is Good it? Work, everyone. This is the biggest now, question. I mean, make our way to the pens and select another beast. I'm pretty sure please, the teacher already talked about it. Feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. What the? I. I guess there's other variety of animals. I wonder if we could be like a Pokemon hunter and start catching oh, random animals. A couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Cheeks. <laughs> oh no, please. Stupid thing. <sighs> oh, you're gonna make him mad. <laughs> Tusk, tusk, peculiar poppy. Worries about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. Technically not a rodent. Looks like a Persephone. cat. <laughs> That's really not funny. Oh man, my guy's like, you better shut it. Hmm. Avada, Avada Kedavra. Let's go. <laughs> Avada Kedavra. 
<laughs> Pretty cool. I think Those what the two don't belong what, anywhere near this class. Hmm. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. What do I do? Do I oh a dodo bird? Feed and brush the uh, measles just as uh, you did with Gerald. Okay. Hello, dodo bird. You wanna be my friend? We could make you my friend. Okay. Um, uh, is there anything else? <laughs> That's like a giant chicken. Come on. Here's your food. Are you gonna be my my sidekick? Or um how long is it gonna take to eat? <laughs> Okay, it's eating it really fast. Okay. Are you my best friend now? Uh I I, um, I guess I had to feed these guys. I'm s I was like kind of confused at, at first. Here you go. Magic. I guess we don't have a physical brew uh physical brush. Really weird. I thought we we're gonna be doing it like what Hagrid would call like interacting with the magical animals. Really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Okay, thanks. It appears our time thanks, has Poppy. come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there yeah, you I'm here. are. I would like a moment, please. I'm going to be taking on like a fearsome beast or Hello, I don't know. Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Honestly, kind of boring. <laughs> I, I'm just going to say wonderful. I enjoyed it. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, mm. which does Magical not include materials. torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Oh, yeah. Sad. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Oh no, that's sad. Resources. Surely yeah. the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Yeah. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Of course, yeah, like every other owl. professor. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. So, like a Pokemon hunter. <laughs> Pokemon. Over here. Wait, what? Yeah, what's up? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We yeah. Have a similar mind. We can't do Actually, that. In light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. In the forest? Sounds You've intrigued great. me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. It's gonna be a griffin, guys. They gotta be griffin. I gotta be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, you don't wanna be jumping over those fence. <laughs> really? That's like dangerous well, animals. Thank you. I dangerous think. animals. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Oh, yeah. It reminds me of like one time where I. I have relatives in Australia, went to Australian zoo, and I was not supposed to be petting the wombats. I somehow ended up in their pen on accident. All right, we're good here. We're going to keep going. Honestly, my my cousin, my Australian cousin was like yelling at me and my brother was little brother was yelling at me too to get out of the pen. It was pretty funny. Those wom wombats are like huge too. Not sure where we're gonna be going, Quite but some kind of having, forest. Don't you think? Poppy, yeah. Where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. 
Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Is it? I don't see a force, but just a scenery. Stand back. It's a griffin. It's a griffin, guys. It's a griffin. I don't think that's it's something else. What are they called again? I remember s seeing it in the beginning of the game. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Beautiful. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Mm. Just like in the movies, Harry Potter movies, hippogriff. Bow. I must bow. Not be like Malfoy. Bow lower. <laughs> I was like showing gentleness and friendliness. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. Okay. I'll come and check on her every once in a while. There you go, my magic brush that vanishes to my pocket dimension. A little bit of food for you. And hopefully we can ride him. Oh no, her? <laughs> I saw the female symbol. Alright, where are you gonna go? Okay, you're gonna fly away. Be free. Unless something, I don't know. So, what did you think of High Wing? That was awesome. That was amazing. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Mm, perhaps. Oh. <laughs> you know once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always, they'll be, always there be there. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety, and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get So you're telling me side quests. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Hmm. That sounds that suspicious. Does seem strange. Sus sounds as if they're suspicious. <laughs> exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Hmm. It would be good to investigate. Why I think not? That's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Alright, yeah. Motivate your classmates that are younger than you. <laughs> Motivate them to do those stuff. Alright, I think the next thing we have to do is go to the uh, Lunar Lemon. Lunar Lemon. <laughs> so we're going to go over there real quick. I'll see you guys in a minute. Alrighty, we're going to make our way up there. So supposedly we're supposed to unlock the the spell to be able to um, like pick lock locks, I guess. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, we kind of opened that already. Alrighty, who's gonna be teaching us? Oh, is this little funky guy? Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. Yeah. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Definitely. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. 
In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see mm. that curious statue over there? Yeah, Watch what's with what the monkey statues? From day to night. Something happens? Oh, weird. So, now, if you what do we do? Mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Weird. Okay. Contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Yeah. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Okay. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. Yeah. Their number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone is <laughs> <killed. laughs> You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart. Or a shapeshifter, yeah. Uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? Weird. <gasps> yes. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some okay. jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I oh. have suspicion <laughs> as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why okay. A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Okay. I guess, yeah. Why not? Well, help, help him out, Mr. Moon. Moon. Oh, well, help me out. You. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. Oh, but what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. <laughs> I said you were a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, oh my God! School was my oyster, <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. So we're breaking uh, the rules, guys. Find one statue in the prefect's bathroom, and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. All right. Okay, this one looks a little bit more trickier, but it shouldn't be too hard of a problem for us. We're like masters at it. We don't have any problems. All right, we got got that new spell to finally unlock these doors. Um, probably first we're gonna have to um equip it though. Uh, where is it? <laughs> Am I blind, guys? Am I just really blind? Oh. Never mind. I'm just really stupid, guys. It's just like I just have to All right, guys. I'm just very stupid. I just had to click F. I thought it was actual Oh, we're are we lock picking it? Oh, we are lock picking. It. Uh Uh what are we supposed to be doing? So move the sparks that rotate the dials until both correlate are activated. Oh, okay. 
Maybe I have to get the right one, I guess, right? Oh, like that. And we should be good. That was pretty easy, guys. Took a hot minute, but you're in. Remember, I oh. use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just stupid. It means like invisibility. But who's gonna be here? I don't understand. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. I know about that. Is there anything thing here though? Oh, what is that? Pick up. Remind us to staff the Hogwarts house elves do a acceptable job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items they may encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off behind a curtain. The autophagy was untoward, engulfing one poor elf in the blue smoke and giving those of us a nearby abominable ringing in our ear for the rest of the day. The expected culprit was Peeves. Please keep an eye out and be careful, Professor Weasley. Uh, yeah, he, whatever was going on, it was very shady. Well, oh, <laughs> there's actually people here. Why are there people here? Why are you guys in the restricted area? Like the hospital. I could be wrong too. Where am I going? Okay, I'm going all the way up. Oh my god. Well, Professor, what? Travelers can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well. It's okay, well, Professor Weasley and Professor Sharp could talk about that. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to be trying to get to the top and grab those spooky um, so-called demi monkeys or whatever they're called. <laughs> demi monkeys. Uh through these this doors must be the prefect's bathroom all right we should be able to do it pretty quickly i think i'll be able to do it it shouldn't be too much of a big problem okay there we go look we got it already pretty easy i really thought that when we're going to cast a spell the door just opens oh does it give me oh Alohomora. okay we're gonna Go through these guys real quick uh i am not surprised they're lock picking but i'm pretty sure it gets more advanced later on there you go nice and then we just have to have get it right where it was okay that's good i think we might get gear i guess is it gear yeah we got some new new bling all right, we're going to go grab that moon. Supposedly, these guys are causing some problems. Okay. Demi guys, moon. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Oh. No. No. Uh, that's so stupid. I swear, like, the magic, just, like, aiming it, it's just so poorly. Because when you flick your wand, it looks like it's going to go above a object, but it just hits the object in front of you, which is really, really annoying. Like, honestly, like, come on. Come on, game. Do better. All right, we're going to go all the way back, so I'm going to skip to that. All right, we're back, and it's less of a mess now. Which is really good because we could go. Wait, what happened to it? I guess when we got caught, we, we, I, I, I'll take it actually. So we don't have to replay everything. Uh, we had to go over there. Over there. Where are you going? Don't go upstairs. What? Where are you going? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, dig it. He's. Freaking NPCs sometimes make me mad because I'm just like, not where you're supposed to be going. Where are you going? Uh, oh! I wouldn't be. 
Don't mind me, teachers. I suppose, Professor. I need this monkey. Thank you, monkey. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff. I'm not risking anything. I know when I see Can I go somewhere else? That's level two. I gotta be whispering. Where am I going? I'm returning back. I'm returning back to him. This is kind of sketchy, but whatever. I kind of been. Oh, Revenue. I love you. Give me that. <laughs> it's just more stuff about more statues. We don't gotta worry about that. We can come back here later. We're not stressing stressing out over this. Yeah. I think it's actually great that they didn't reset us because it would be really sad. <laughs> But the good thing is, we can really practice on things. Come here. What repulsal, you ding. There, give me that. I need that. Revenue. More stuff, more few guides. A Julia tur tortoise shell. Okay. Moving forward. Don't worry about it. What happened to the student? Give me that money. Hey, you. Over here. What? Oh, what? Wait. What? Where are you going? I guess I'm just gonna like. Yo, yo, yo. Let me just be. Oh, go away. Go away. You didn't see anything. I'm. I'm the sneakiest mofo ever. I say that, but I messed up during the earlier. The first time I tried sneaking around. Hello, Hamora. Let's actually open this up real quick. If they give us more powerful gear, it would be worth actually having. Uh, let's do that. I got mod. There you go. And then we'll just have like that. We're good. That open it up. Very generic. Uh, there's just notes. Give me that. What's through this door? What's this? Oh, my gear. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. All right. We're good. Give me that. Oh, a new scarf. That's Revenue. awesome. Anything else in here? Please don't walk in. What, what is note? All right. Let's read this. Dear Maribel, my dear Dot has been asking after you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop it for a butterbeer or two. If you were to join us, it's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you're able to part with a few of your plants, the more fragrant ones. Ever since the troll tag, customers have been complaining about the smell and believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I have tried to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon, with or without the plants. Your friend, Serona. Yeah, yeah, talking about the plants. Talking to the herbology professor, I'm guessing? Serona, the bartender? Well, whatever. Here you go, Mr. Moon. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. Ooh. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? Yeah, it doesn't now, make sense. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. All right, we're it's glad to help. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. What are you going to do? Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. All right, we'll just keep, keep a look at it. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. All right, we're done with that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one what? to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. All right, yeah. 
Very interesting. I kind of want to know what's going on with those demi guys statues. It's very, very, very odd. Let me take a look at our our quests real quick. I think we have done two or well, three of the stuff. And what I'm thinking what I should be doing, guys, is doing the assignments behind the scenes because it's just a lot of just very what I consider kind of tedious and kind of boring work where I'm just grinding and crafting and I don't want to present that in my videos because I think it's kind of boring kind of like the the idea of showing you guys the action and the story and I'm gonna do all these assignments behind the scene so we can progress well I hope you guys enjoyed the video Hello, today and I oh, you might stop wait. by the three broomsticks when you can ah I guess we could say that. Oh, she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcross. Uh. So I look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts, by the way. Hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I'm okay. to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet okay. me there when you can. <laughs> I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? All right, I guess we have some plans for the next video because we have some of our professors and friends messaging us. And we're going to do that in the next video. Well, if you got to the end of the video and want to support me, like and subscribe. I'm Jagab Knight and I hope I see you again. See ya.